You know, JJ, there are certain songs that are yeah. like a perfect soundtrack for certain times. For example, just totally. in general, all, like almost all of Incubus's entire you know, realm of music, especially Drive, but like you go through the Red Rock Canyon at night, you turn that on, and you just oh. relax. Great stuff. Incubus, they are not only a great band to listen to when you're driving, they're a great band to see over at Virgin Hotels Las Vegas. Show's coming up later this month, and we're talking to the front man today. We certainly are. Brandon Boyd joins us now, cross leg style in his home. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. Good. Nice to see you, too. Thanks for having me. You bet. Uh, you know, this new theater over at the Virgin, um, Virgin uh, really has kind of sprung up and has been hosting some amazing musical acts. It makes so much sense that you would be there. Uh, what do you know about the space? What are you looking forward to about coming into Las Vegas? Well, um, first and foremost, just incredibly uh, excited and grateful to be able to show up and make live music again <laughs> with a, a real yeah. audience. And it's a little bit of be, a delay uh, there, yeah. <laughs> be in a, yeah, exactly. We've had a, a little forced hiatus. Um, but uh, this will be the first time we've played this new room. To my understanding, it was uh, formerly the Hard Rock. Is that correct? That's right. Yep. Formerly yeah. Now the Hard That's Rock right. bought something on the Strip, so they're going to have their own thing over there. <laughs> but there's a whole shell game going on. But yeah, Virgin now uh, in the old uh, okay. Hard Rock space. And uh, yeah, it's a great room. And, uh, you know, great to see you again. And, it, you know, you were ta we're talking about that force hiatus. I, 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 to a certain extent, I think it was almost, you know, and if you love doing live music, maybe not so much, but putting pen to paper and creating new material I mean, I know that Incubus has a new album that's kind of in the works, and you have a solo album and Root as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, my solo record will be, well, I've been releasing singles um, once a month. So for the past four months, there are four Whoa. singles yeah. currently out. Um, and then the album itself drops on March 11th. Nice. Um, but Incubus, you know, we've been um, desperately wanting to go out and play music, but for some strange reason, haven't been able to that much oh. over the last couple of years. Um, but we're back, <laughs> you know, we're rehearsing together right now. And every time we get into the room together, uh, there's an, there's something that happens. I mean, we've been a band for 30 years for m more than more than the reasons that, you know, that we um, have been successful or that we like playing live. It's like we actually have this genuine chemistry that still exists after 30 years. And so we will definitely be putting out some new music in the near future. Fantastic. That's that's awesome to hear about that chemistry. I mean, that's a long marriage, my friend. And I think that, you know, <laughs> I, I wonder uh, if if the pandemic in a way has has given us all kind of like a, a new a found appreciation for certain dynamics and relationships in our lives. Um, I know that mm. you appreciate very much the relationship that you have with your fans uh, because, you know, my gosh, they're going to turn out to see you at this show. You're going to have people flying in from all over the country to see you play mm. in the Virgin. Um, you put out on your Instagram a, a little request for set lists. Do you do you hear a lot of song requests from your fans? We do. Yeah, it's always interesting to um, uh, hear what our most hardcore listeners are wanting to hear and to witness because we have to sort of balance those things out with what we ourselves want to dive back into. Cause a lot yeah. of the time it's like older material. Yeah. Um, but it's, what's so cool about it though, is that it's not just like play this one song or play these two songs over and over and over again. It is all over the place. <laughs> like people are, <laughs> requests are coming in from like almost three decades of, of us making music. So it makes the set, li wow. set list writing process a little more complicated, but a lot more interesting. Yeah. You try so to tell we're hopefully going to yeah, yeah with, with with exactly with that's what yeah. we're always trying to do exactly it's uh man i mean I, i'm just excited to be back at concerts man i don't like i just like it's been right. so it's been so long and i think a lot of people are yearning for it as well um mm. my goodness my, i'm just I'm, I'm just i'm having flashbacks i used to work at sam goody right back in the day i used to sell mm. cds and incubus I, wow. I bought i bought your cd loved it and now you're just saying, you're, I'm releasing a single a month and it's all done digitally, digitally now. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you like the new way of doing things? Do you miss the way it used to be? That's a really great question. I have to say that there are things about this new kind of digital economy, this attention economy yeah. that are really cool and exciting and very direct. I love the kind of uh, 
artist mm. to listener or artist to viewer relationship that we're able to create. That being said, um, it is such a sort of continual maelstrom of information that we're being uh, flooded with. Yeah. It's hard to keep up with it. And uh, sometimes it, it feels like you're kind of screaming into the void with art. And you'll spend months mm. and months and months or a year working on something and you're like, and I've released it. And whoosh, it's like, and you know, there it goes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> dropping a very light stone into a raging river and it's gone forever. Yeah. Um, so there are things about the old paradigm that I definitely miss, um, especially the kind of physical, yeah. um, the tangibility of, Tangi of holding a CD or holding vinyl. Yeah. But that the great thing about where we are today is that when you come into that live environment, you have a little bit of both. You have, um, people have absorbed the music, um, most likely through, you know, digital mediums now, but then they can come into a live environment and have a, a very real experience. Yeah. So and that's, it's amazing that people come to live concerts, you know, cause that's the last vestige oh, of this old paradigm. No doubt. Yes. Yes. We must, we must have them continue. Well, people can see you, Brandon, mm. live on stage at the Virgin. The shows are uh, Friday, March 25th, also Saturday night, March 26th. A uh, best of luck to you. It's been really fun chatting with you. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us this morning. Thank you guys. Too. Yeah. If you want to grab tickets, you go to the website, all the numbers you see right there on your screen and keep us live in Vegas.